Are your goals taking too long to manifest? Hello, my name is Fernando, and today I want to put this question to you because as a coach uh, to people that are running home businesses, one of the things that comes up a lot is um, this concern that goals are not going to come to pass, they're not going to manifest in due course. And there's concern about that, and there's some insights that I want to share with you that I think could help you on your journey. So here you are, you started up a business from home, you want to make a certain amount of income, you have things that you want to achieve, maybe it's uh, to walk away from your job, replace your income, earn so much per month, maybe travel, many, many things, right, you could be doing. And so you set this goal and then you start to work and then you might be working for a month or two and you don't see anything happen and then you start to wonder um, what's going on, is this ever going to come you know, to fruition, is it ever going to manifest? And so there's a universal law that I want to bring into play here, and that's the law of gestation. And that means that every seed in universe has a gestation period, which means every seed takes time from the moment you sow it or plant it in fertile soil until it actually brings back the fruit. And so what happens... Um, is you put the seed in the ground now when you know like as a farmer if you know what seed you're planting let's say you're planting a carrot seed you already know how many days it will take for a carrot to bring forth fruit and so you go away and you start watering and you start fertilizing and you start looking after that seed even though you don't see anything for a period of time all you see is dirt right the seeds under the ground and it's already beginning to attract everything that it needs immediately that is in harmony uh, with it to, uh, to eventually produce that sprout that's going to then take the sun and grow into a carrot. So the challenge with most of us, I would say, maybe the challenge with you, if you're not seeing your goals come to fruition, it may be that if we liken this to the farmer, what happens is you might plant a carrot today but then what happens is tomorrow or three days later, you pluck it out and you plant a potato. And then five days later, you pull that out and then you're planting an apple seed. And we're forever planting. Now, in, in the industry of online marketing, network marketing, digital marketing, we call it shiny object syndrome. We start something. So we set a goal and we start to build a certain way. But then we get distracted and we start to go after something else and it's like we've left that seed in the ground we've plucked it out and now we're planting another one that we want to start building because it looks more attractive you might think that it may give you results sooner and then after time you pluck it out again and so we need to have this understanding that in order for a fruit or a seed to bring forth fruit like a goal that's planted in, in the uh, planted on, on the soil of universe you have to stick to that one seed, that one goal, that one way, and you have to um, visualize the manifestation of that fruit, but stay with it. Because as you do that, then all the energy, all the vibration, all the resources, all the circumstances that you need will start to uh, be attracted to it to manifest that as a goal in reality in due course. Now, Going back to this example, you may not see something for a while, and I guess that's where the impatience comes. It's like I'm doing all this work, but I'm not seeing anything happen. And so that means that you don't yet have the awareness that goals take time, just like a seed. It has, to, it has a gestation period before it brings forth fruit. And the best example I can use is the Chinese bamboo, and I love that story because it really takes understanding and awareness of that particular seed to know that you plant it and you water it for five years before you see anything. But when it comes out, when it pops through the ground, in six weeks it grows to 90 feet or 27 stories. And it's a very strong structure. Nothing will uh, knock it over because for five years it's been developing a very complex root system. And so every day that you're nurturing your goals and you're taking action with the understanding that it's going to come to pass in due course, when it pops, it can pop sooner. The, the thing with universal seeds is we don't know what the gestation period is. A carrot, we know it's X amount of days. A baby, we know it's nine months. But your goal, we don't know how long it takes. It could be longer than you think, but not as long as... Uh, it could be take longer than you expect, but not as long as you think, right? So you, could, you just have to take the action. Once it pops, 
then it starts to manifest and you start to enjoy the fruits of that seed that's been planted in the ground. So the takeaway from this for you, if you are being challenged with your goals to manifesting, is to ask yourself, am I watering, am I nurturing this goal, am I consistently plucking up the seed that I'm planting and planting a new one because I'm being distracted with all the different shiny objects that are being put in front of me um, as I'm going on this journey. And then also have an understanding that every seed takes a period of time. I hope that makes a difference for you. I would love your comments. Let me know what you think. If you agree, if you disagree, and if you have someone that you want to share this with, um, it'll mean the world to me for you to go and share it because at the end of the day, we want to make a bigger impact, touch more lives, and help more people achieve their goals. So I look forward to us staying connected. If you haven't yet uh, checked out my blog, head over to fernandaloaza.com uh, for more resources, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye for now.